hope you're doing really well today. I'm going to go over a, a defending guide today because defending has been an interesting way. Like, there's a lot of ways that different teams do during defending that just not that just not that great. Um, so I thought I'd make a video on it today and highlight this one game um, that I was looking over in one of my past live streams. Um, Pika Pika wanted me to review their game, so I did. Um, this is way back at Highlander. Um, and one the most notable thing that I saw from them was that when they defended, um, it wasn't good defending. Um, like, yes, you defend the long goal, but it actually kind of hurt the their team. Um, and I thought I'd make a video on that. Um, so Pika Pika is such a great team. They have the bas best basketball I've I've seen in Vex Robotics. Um, and this is all the way back in at Highlander. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not criticizing them for not knowing what the best strategy stuff was way back a Highlander, but I just really wanted to go over this match and show you guys. But um, right off of Driver's Control, uh, this is Pika Pika's bot here. Um, they're just going to score like how you should. Um, and then just grab some blocks while this team is going. So like they're doing everything so far, but now here comes the defending part. They have the long goal and the bonus. All they have to do now is defend. So at this moment right here, they should not be doing anything else than just staying at the long goal. Now I have seen teams like try to back away and push the blocks. Um, while like if there's a robot here defending, robot here defending, one robot uses hood to do that, that could be risky because um, if a robot has blocks they could just score them while you're over back and sometimes it's, it's actually pretty good to just do that because your opponents will be caught off guard and um, that's a really good topic that needs to be looked at but um basically you can only do that in some scenarios like you have to know who you're facing and how their play style is before you can know for sure if that's the right move that that's just a little Right on that, but back to this game here. All Pika Pika should be doing is just staying here and doing nothing else. They shouldn't back up, move up, or anything. They should just stay right at the goal. Um, and they do that great. Um, and right here, I fast forward it like five seconds. Right here, um, Pika Pika needs, like, if you look at the spacing, like, look how much space, um, is on this side compared to this side. Why does it need to stay in this position if there's no one going to contest that position, especially when there's no D score hooks? Or at least I'm pretty sure this bot doesn't have any D score hooks. Um, so what do you do right now? Um, there's a couple ways you can go about this. Um, one is to grab the two blocks here um, and then score them. And two, you could go way well over here, grab these three blocks and the three from the match loader. Um, and at this moment in time, or like the third option is just staying still. Those are all three defend, like defending strategies in this certain scenario. But there's only one that I'd, I'd pick in at this point of time. It'd be just to pick up these two blocks and score them. That's just because you don't know what this bot's going to do. Um, it's kind of losing its lane over here. So it might come and contest this lane here. Might um, just keep going out this lane. I don't really see why I'd go for middle goals, especially because it doesn't have any loads in the bot. So um, I wouldn't try and grab these blocks. I wouldn't, like, because I wouldn't just stand there. And I know because this, like I said, the bot was unpredictable, which means, like, yeah, you should stay there. But look how much space um, Pika Pika have right now. They have enough space to grab the two blocks and score and not put them in a better position. Um, however, they're just not going to do this. And now at this scenario here, yes, Pika Pika did make a mistake. 
and like in the scenario right here, yes, Pika Pika did make a mistake, but hope is not all lost. Like, if you're in this scenario right here and you le let that mistake go, and you're like, because, you know, the matches can seem like they go fast, you could miss something, and you're in the spot like, oh my, I missed something. I, I could have grabbed those two blocks. Um, it's not over yet. There is still, um, you can still do something else than just standing at the long goal to, um, be good defense at that long goal. And that is actually not to pick up these two blocks, which while you could, I would not pick them up um, because, I mean, they're just close to the goal. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Um, well, the weird reason why I say it is because I want Pika need to um, keep pressure on the raising bot. Um, you can't waste time grabbing these blocks if you want to keep pressure on the raising bot. You want to defend this long goal. You don't want the raising bot to score. Look how much space these guys have over here. You need to defend the raising bot because look at all the blue blocks here. If the raising bot gets these blue, blue blocks, it can be devastating to the score because it could grab both middle goals. Or if this if spacing is the is right, the raising bot could even try and contest the long goal here because that's a lot of blocks. Um, now, Pika Pika is just going to stand still. And exactly what I said would happen, the Raising Bot is going to pick up all of those blocks. And if you would have just defended that Raising Bot, like, you would have been in such a greater position because the Raising Bot would have any of those blocks in the load. But, let's say you're in this position here, and um, you're like, oh my, I made a mistake. Hope is not lost yet. There is still something you can do to to um, bring you back from the state that you're in. Um, now, this is pretty situational because we're talking about a raising bots here. And now, if you don't know much about raising bots, um, I actually made a video on them, so you should check out that. But um, one of their features that is like a flaw to it is that it's pretty easy to, for the blocks to actually fall out of them. So Pika Pika, at this point, could still defend the raising bot um, because look how much space like these guys are contesting Pika Pika has like all of these space to work with they can still defend the raising bot and stop it from scoring um, and in the process it could even de-score like the raising bot's blocks because it's just gonna fall out because of all the commotion now yes that is situational but that is probably the best play in any other robot. Um, while the blocks won't like just fall out of the robot, or not the robot, the robot. It's still nice to defend it because you don't want those blocks being scored anywhere else. And it'd be super nice to shave off of time, especially since you're in the winning position right now. Um, the Pika Pika is just going to stand still again, and they just. They've missed out on so many opportunities, and the Raising Bot is going to get bonus. Um, although the Raising Bot didn't make a mistake of scoring that many in the bonus. It should have scored like one or two and then go for the top middle. But now Pika Pika, they find an opportunity to grab the, the two blocks, which yes, in that position, you should do. So that is something that they did get right in defending uh, this long goal. And it does knock a block out. And now um, Pika Pika is just going to try and grab the other blocks around. Because it has enough space. And it is still in a defending of the goal. Because of its space. And because like no, no robot's going to like block that. Um, so it's doing good. You could also say to defend the raising bot. Because it's just going to match load. Although it's a bad idea because... This is the point right here where the Raising Bot starts to match load. And if you see right here, his teammate is right here, and it is putting pressure over here. So this teammate has a lot of space here. For So if Pika Pika would have came over and like, okay, we're going to disrupt Raising Bot for match loading so uh, they can't score much. That would actually not be a good idea, just because it's, it's just too risky. Because you have uh, this teammate close by to either d defend and pin, and um, while defending and pinning, the raising bot can go away and actually descore some blocks. Um, because it, it would have match load at that time because it, the uh, his teammate would have defended, though. 
So, yeah, you don't want to go for that. So, good thing Pika Pika did not go for that. But they did grab a few blocks around because they had enough spacing. And um, the blocks are still defended in the long goal because it's just not going to get descored. So, great job to that. Um, yeah, it's going to go back and score these blocks. And the Raising Bot is going to attempt to score here, which is actually... <laughs> A pretty bad idea for this raising bot because it should have gone for middle bonus, especially since like how high of a lead um, Pika Pika is right now. Um, but with 23 seconds left, there's not a lot of red blocks around the field. Um, and this raising bot is going to probably pick up the blue and do something with that. So just stay at the goal and see what happens. This is where you need to actually stay at the goal. And yeah, it's just gonna do what I said. It's gonna pick up the blocks. Pika Pika need to stay at the goal. And um, they should probably park, not now, but maybe around six seconds left. Um, and because I'd give it some space, care for the blue team. Honestly, now at this position, um, well, any of them could park because this bot came around over here. Um, but they're actually not going to get the park. That's probably due to a communication error. So make sure you have someone telling the time always. But yeah, that is the um, video. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this in-depth um, de defending guide or however you want to call it yes it is just one match and there is so much to say about defending but this is just a great example of like a bunch of defending techniques around the long goal um so i thought i'd make a video on that but um i hope you enjoyed <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe for more in-depth content and i'll see you in the next one